Hey everyone, on today's video, we're gonna be running you through a bike check and full spec rundown of my very own Marim Bikes Alpine Trail E2. We've put it through the absolute ringer over the last few days and it has held back tough. It's taken everything we've thrown at it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god! Looking at the frame and the bike as a whole, this is of course a mulleted setup. So it's a 29 inch front wheel, 27.5 in the rear. That 29 inch front wheel coupled with a super slack 63 degree head angle pretty much means this thing will roll over anything you point it at. With this slightly smaller 27.5 inch rear wheel, I line you to still throw this thing around sharp corners if you need to. In terms of travel, this thing has 160mm up front, courtesy of the super supple Fox 38 fork and 150mm in the rear with a Fox DX2 coil shock. If I'm being honest, I am not exactly a suspension wizard. I'd love to give you a little bit more input on how I set the suspension up, but the short answer is I just kind of do it by feel. Fast enough to be working on some fast, rocky terrain, but not so fast that I'm going to get bucked over any jumps I might hit. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Moving on to the heart of this bike, this bike is rocking the new for 2023 Shimano EP801 motor which will kick out a maximum torque of 85 Newton meters coupled with the 630 watt hour battery on this bike which I think gives a really nice amount of riding time even when you're riding in trail or boost which if I'm being completely honest is the only mode this bike ever sees. If you do want to clock it into eco you will get a serious amount of riding time and probably more descending than your arms can actually take. More than my arms can take anyway. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Moving on to the drivetrain, we've got a nice 12 speed setup. It's a combination of SLX and Shimano XT. Again, I have found this to be super reliable, super consistent. I'm really impressed with the way this has held up on my previous bike as well as this bike. So yeah, can't fault that at all. In terms of pedals, I'm actually running the Crank Brothers Stamp 7 in size small. I do that for clearance. Basically, the smaller the pedal is, I've found it's a lot nicer for limiting how many times you're going to bash the pedals into rock. Right, run back down. <laughs> In terms of brakes, my bike has the stock at the time Shimano SLX four piston brakes, which I've been super impressed with actually. I've never actually had these brakes on a bike for any extended period of time until now. And I've been pretty impressed with them, even on the same set of uh, pads, which to be honest, probably needs replaced after the last three days of cooking them up pretty much all day, every day. So moving on to the wheels, like we said, it is a mulleted setup. So 29 in the front, 27.5 in the rear. These are Marin's very own double wall rims, which again, I've been super impressed with. I have been absolutely hammering them over all sorts of terrain over the last few days. And the only thing that's happened is I think I snapped the spoke somewhere. Moving on to tires, I'm actually running the V-Tire Attack HPL tires. I've been super impressed with how these tires have felt. They have basically treaded, pardon the pun, a balance between a tacky but heavy wearing compound and the sidewalls are nice and supportive for that extra weight. So a really cool thing that Marin have introduced for 2023 which I think is a really nice touch. Across the whole of Alpine Trail E range you will find Kushcore foam inserts fitted front and rear. You get the puncture protection, protection for your rims without the hassle of having to actually install those things and as many of you may know it can be a bit of a nightmare if you're doing it for your first time so a really nice touch. I'm actually running the rim pack foam inserts front and rear with the muck off tubeless valves. A really nice touch that I think is a massive selling point for this thing. So in recent years, Marin have been developing their own component range and on the 2023 Alpine Trail 2, you'll get this super nice cockpit combination which consists of this 35mm CNC Marin stem really nicely finished off with the trail bar, which for me feels pretty sweet and the Marin Grizzly lock-on grips are a super nice addition. They've even come with this nice little indented um, part of the grip, which is perfectly placed for your thumb for extra comfort and extra grip when you're out in the trail. 
So moving on to the saddle and seat post combo, I'm rocking the Marin Bikes E mountain bike saddle. It is super grippy, which sounds weird, but at the end of the day, that's what you need it to do. And it's even got this little scoop at the back, which works really well, especially on the climbs for helping you hold on um, to the back of this bike. One of the only things I have actually changed on this bike is I'm rocking the SRAM AXS um, electric remote seat post, 170 mil travel. I basically just chop and change this on all my different bikes because it can come off so easily. So there we have it. That is the bike check on my very own much loved Marin Bikes Alpine Trail E2. Please go and watch my recent shred it of sorts on this bike that we've been making for the last few days. We've just wrapped it. I hope you guys enjoy watching it just as much as we enjoyed making it. As always, if you have any questions on this bike or anything in the Marin Bikes range, please leave a comment below and either myself or someone from the Marin team will be more than happy to help with any queries you may have. In the meantime, stay safe and we'll catch you next time.